guys. Hey, guys. <laughs> you thought I were judging me on my hair in my last video. My gun is on the throne. But I like it now. And thank you for liking it as well. And if you're going to copy it, do make sure that you tag me on social media when you do it. It's crochet. Mm -hmm. And if you perhaps go to a salon and you tell them you want to make crochet and they don't understand, tell them crochet. They will get it. Trust me. <laughs>today i want to say a very big thank you to my friend yemi for this beautiful drum it was a gift he gave to me on my birthday i think it was this year yeah this year thank you so much we had visitors over at the house the other day and they said oh that's like our drum they got it from some african country so yeah thank you for that mm -mm -mm. first i want to say a very big thank you for um everyone who commented and watched my previous videos yo <laughs> so much excited oh my gosh so much happy about that. I really appreciate. I really, really appreciate. Thank you very much. More grace to your elbow. More data to your GSM. More network to your network provider. Today, I want to do a review of um, Chidima's brand new single, Holy Mimo, and Nosa featuring my essay, Na Your Way. Eh, my faves are back and I'm excited about that. Before I carry on with the reviews, please subscribe to my channel and do make sure that you click on the bell icon as well. That way, once I post a video on my channel like this, you get a notification. Uh, uh, uh. I have always known that Chidima wanted to be a gospel act. The year she won M10 Project Fame, I followed the show quite closely and I saw that when they had given them an assignment to go write their own songs. Chidima wrote a gospel song. I can never forget. What a feeling. Let's welcome once more on stage Chidima as she sings her original composition titled Directions. Let's welcome Chidima. Sometimes I want to think but sometimes I find it hard to focus Sometimes I want to pray, but those times I find it hard to mention a word. This time I'm beside myself, Lord help me to wait on you a second. Well I loved it so much. So when she won the show, came out and then went secular. I wasn't surprised, surprised, but I just knew that this auntie looks like she really wants to do gospel. So she did a few love songs. I don't know if you could see it in her face, if you could see it in like her body language or whatever, but it just didn't seem like she was comfortable. So when she put out me more, I was actually excited. Like, yes, she has come to a place of self-actualization where it's like, you know what? I don't care what anybody says. This gospel song, I'ma do it. So I am proud of her and I'm excited and I'm so here for this. Now let's go to the video. Big shout out to my dear friend, Fari by Sissi Okme, <laughs> who was in the video. She also has a YouTube channel. She's a makeup artist and she's a beautiful one at that. She did Chidima's makeup in the video. I also do think that the video could have taken a completely different approach. Costuming, particularly of the backup singers. And I thought, ah, no now. For a whole Chidima, it's not like she's new to the game, right? So I expected that a few more details should have been put in the music video. Maybe have only her in the video. Dress her differently. Maybe the backup singers should have worn uniforms. Something was just a bit mm, about the video that I thought they could have done a lot more with. But I think the song is a really beautiful song. And Chidima sings Yoruba so well. Why an Igbo girl to be singing Yoruba like that? It warms my heart so much. She did sang that song, or she really sang it. I think it came from a very personal place, and I enjoyed her delivery of the song. I don't know what plans she has for a gospel, maybe album, or more gospel songs, but if she goes ahead to do more gospel songs, I will not be surprised at all. Produced by Frank Edwards, I saw that the video also took a similar form that Frank Edwards videos often take. However, it doesn't take away from the brilliance and solid anointing that that song has. Brand new single, Nayowe. I loved this music video so very much. It was giving me cross worship, elevation, Bethel music vibes. It was giving me, you know, indie worship gathering vibes. And the choice of Myro Essay as the feature in that song, yo, perfection. <laughs> See, eh, Nosa's writing is world class. His production, oh my gosh. Excuse you, and his delivery, 
ah, I'd seen his post about the song coming and I was like, yes, I can't wait. No, so we miss your talent, etc. So my mom and I are in the kitchen one day. This is before the song was released, I think. So we're singing Jonathan McRae's Love of My Soul. And then my mom was like, ah, um, that she likes his writing. She likes Jonathan McRae's writing. I said, yes, so he sings relatable stuff, you know. And I talked to her about how he posted something on his Instagram about, you know, sometimes feeling a bit... Um, insecure about the things that he talks about in his music that's not mainstream like you know every other artist or gospel musician is not singing about these things so he's feeling like you know you guys think that this is easy for me but it's not because the things i talk about are not things that every other person is singing about hey so it's like 2 30 a.m i'm working writing music and uh i'm having this familiar feeling it's the same feeling that i had when i was releasing no gray limp comparison kills and cycles it's this feeling that my music is just too weird for gospel and too inadequate for the kingdom. Like writing about subject matters that you don't hear in your genre doesn't always make you feel special. It sometimes it just makes me feel wrong. And uh, I guess the familiar feeling that I'm getting is, is, is my humanity appropriate for my genre? So keep me in your prayers because I'm just wired this way. I got to talk about stuff that nobody else is talking about. He sings relatable stuff. My mom was like, ah, yes, so. That he just reminds her of Nosa. I'm like, yo, yes, Nosa literally should be the Jonathan McQuinnels of Nigeria. I hate doing stuff like that, like the something of Nigeria. But you know, I had to give context, <laughs> so please understand. Cause like his writing is so beautiful. It is so relatable. You know how you're singing like, ah, ah, but God, now you will. You know, like you can, these are things that you, can, you as a person can literally say. And then it made me remember all of his previous songs. So stay, I go always pray for you. I had to leave a comment on his YouTube. Cause I really think that there's a lot of talent there. No son was like, I'm one of his biggest fans in life. I'm excited about this new song. I like it. I like it. I like it. I, I don't. I can't change anything about it. I don't know who chose the costumes, but I thought that there was just something extra anointed about that. So kudos, you guys. Mima by Chidima, and of course uh, Nayowe by Nosa featuring Myro Essie. These are lovely songs that you should add to your playlist. So guys, that's all I have time for today. I'll see you guys next time. Arrivederci. Thanks for watching. Subscribe and like the video and share and let me know what your thoughts are in the comments below. And bye. Oh yeah, shout out to Xavier. Yes, he literally accosted me on WhatsApp saying, you have not shared a song suggestion recently. I'm like, yo, calm down. I'm coming. <laughs>